Hello guys, what's up with the new tutorial? We are here in SketchUp Arc Studio. In this case, I'm going to show you how we can create some realistic render which is useful for catalogs or some industrial rendering which is completely useful in different type of categories. So, I'm going to show you another abilities of Enscape for SketchUp which is related to making some realistic or fantasy rendering. So, I'm going to press F, click on the create view in here, unlink visual preset and I want to add some angle like this for example for my render or maybe something like that so uh, I'm going to type 0 for the pitch option and 0 for the yaw option in here the x is about 7.7 .7, or maybe 7.8 y is about 1.6 and z is about negative 1.8 so about the azimuth and altitude, I can play with the time of the day to create different type of lightings. For example, something like that can be really wonderful. I prefer to type 126 degree for the azimuth. And if I play with the altitude, I can change the sun angle, something like this. So maybe 19 degree or 20 degree can be really wonderful for this project. So I'm going to click on the create in here and click on the Enscape scene number one. As a matter of fact, I don't like the name of it, so I'm going to change it to the render number one. And if you like, you can add it to your favorite renders. So I'm going to press save in here. Click on the render number one in this case. Turn on the save frame in here. It completely depends on you which type of resolution that you want. But I need some square rendering. So I'm going to click on the visual setting. Go to the output box in here. Click on the resolution, change it from Full HD to the custom mode and now I'm going to type 1080 for here and now I have some SQR resolution for my project. I'm going to move visual setting to the left side, start with the field of view and focus on my target as I can. For example, 48 degree is really wonderful. I can increase the uh, exposure a little bit, about 54 and turn on the depth of field, turn off the autofocus it's completely important how you want to focus on your project. I like to focus on my project with the focal point. So I want to focus on this wood panels and laptop in here and this pink table in this case. So I'm going to play with it to find best focal point for this project. I'm going to type 4.18 and depth of field is about 9%. I'm going to increase rendering quality on the ultra mode. We don't need any type of outline, but you can add some outline to create some cartoony render. It completely depends on you. I prefer to use 6% for the outline. Go to the image bar, turn on the auto contrast. Saturation is good. Color temperature can be decreased to the 6000 Kelvina. Motion blur is zero. Bloom and lens flare naturally important. So in this case, I only want to turn on lens flare about 24. Vignate can be increased to the 44. Chromatic aeration is zero. In the atmosphere, we have fog option, which is related to the GI calculation, but I don't want to focus on the exterior lighting, so I don't touch it. Some brightness, if I reduce it, you can see what really happened inside your project. And if I increase it, it will happen like this. All right, I'm going to reset it on the sun brightness. Night sky is not really useful. Shadow sharpness is 15%. So, sorry, 50%. I'm going to reduce it. You can see we have some faded out shadows, but right now I need some sharp shadows. So, I'm going to increase shadows like that. And now it's much better. So, ambient brightness can be make my interior render more brighter. So, I'm going to increase it to the 66%. Wind option, totally not useful in here. In the skybox, we have source and clouds. For the source, I'm going to use white cubes. You can see some effects of it in your interior design. Variety, density, and size amount can be effective on your sun lighting. But right now, I don't want to touch them because I am completely satisfied with this lighting too. Can't really see on the 2 in here. I'm going to come back in the image bar. Reduce color temperature about 5900 Kelvina. Saturation is about 104. Come back to the main bar and exposure is about 61. Everything is done in here and now time for the rendering. First of all, I'm going to switch my mode from the non-mode to the white mode. 
and I want to take my first shot on the white mode in here so I'm going to select my desktop press save it takes a little bit of time and after that Enscape will save this white render for you you can see the fine details of your project very simple and easy after finishing this white render I can click on the visual setting change it to the none mode take another render and snapshot and save it on my desktop everything will be a start for me another time and now this is the new rendering which we have in here this render completely normal without any type of special materializing or texturizing so you can use it by default you can download this file for training below this video i hope you enjoyed this video guys if this tutorial is useful for you please like this video and share it with your friends thanks for your time thanks for watching and goodbye